What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. We've now made it to the end of week two playing My Summer Car without a single mod installed. And somehow, by some miracle, I still have a little bit of sanity left. I don't know how that works. But in the previous episode, everything was going great. Everything was going so well until it wasn't. So what we need to do first here after taking care of our stats is just go clean up our mess. Here we are, the Kekmet still chilling where we left it. It's fuel tank completely bone dry. So of course we brought the diesel canister with us after we fill this thing up with fluid. I guess, yeah, we don't have to put the kickstand down. Um, after we fill this thing up with fuel, not fluid, I wanna try putting the Joe bro on the front forks of the Kekmet. We'll see if we can just kind of bring it back home with us. I don't know if that works. I don't know if it even fits up there. But that's what we're going to try, because I would really hate to walk all the way back out here just to retrieve either the tractor or the Joe bro. All right, Joe bro, we're going to try to throw you up on these front forks here. See if you can fit up there. Honestly, shimmy it over to the left a little bit. No, not the, not the tow rope. No, not the kickstand. Please, God, make it stop. No, I, I don't. I don't want that. Wait, there's a tow rope from the front forks? Huh? Has that always been there? Oh, train incoming. What's up? What's what's going on? How you doing? Just move out the way at the last second. Sometimes you gotta play chicken with the train. It's just it's a, it's a good time. Great way to you know build character or whatever. All right, Joe Bro fits up there like perfectly on them front forks. It's like it was actually designed for that. But now we've just got to head back home. And here we are, home sweet home. Dude, the Joe bro is like really locked in on those front forks. It really did great. So yesterday we just tried to do a simple errand run. You know, we had a couple of places to go, a couple of people to visit with, and we did pretty well. Like I said, everything was going great until it wasn't. So we did get the Satsuma stuck, we then got it unstuck, and then we got the Kekmet stuck. But uh, let's first answer this phone before I finish my sentence. Our sewage well is full of crap. Come and empty it. Okay, that's not the phone call I was expecting. I was hoping that was going to be Quavo telling us that our radiator has arrived. But that's fine. Let's actually just have a quick smoke here. So, as I was beginning to say, we ended up getting both of our vehicles here stuck. And I was just, I was just having a bad time. I was just having a bad time. I needed to end the recording, and I'm glad I did. Today, unfortunately, we will still have to go on a couple of errand runs. The first stop is going to be to our main boy, Fleetaris.
We have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually gonna pull straight into Fleetari's shop here because if he if he has those wheels finished, like he claimed that, oh, dude, I forgot the seatbelt again. Why do I keep doing that? Also, the Satsuma does sound a little strange, so I'm not sure maybe when it was like halfway underwater, maybe something bad happened to it, but we'll look into that a little while later on. Dude, you actually, hang on, let's open this up. You actually did it. You've got the tires mounted up. They look pretty great. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, that car of yours ruins my driveway. I know, okay? I know you don't like it. I completely understand, uh, but it's the only car we have. So you're just gonna sort of have to deal with it, I suppose. We're gonna get each one placed in front of um, the existing wheels. And then we're just going to real quick swap them around. Shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Fleetari's floor also does the thing where it makes it so you, like, walk really slow. Almost like the dock, I guess. And then right back here, he's going to have some toolsies as well. All we need is a 13 millimeter socket. Oh, and also the floor jack. We'll go ahead and get this side jacked up first, and then we'll just have to work around to the other side and do the same thing. I think we want the tires to at least be off the ground for this to work. Sometimes if even the tire's touching a little bit, they won't exactly pop off for you. See, the, the little symbol needs to come up. Now we can grab that, put that one over here, grab our new one. These things look fresh, dude. For just the, the GT rim with some nicer tires, Looks pretty nice. I'm a big fan. That's one side done and one more to go. Putting the jack in the middle of the vehicle and just doing the two at a time is much faster than my initial idea to do them individually. We would have been here all day, dude. We would have never made it to Quavos, which brings me to our next location, of course, Quavos. He hasn't actually called and said that the radiator's in, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we're just gonna get lucky and we'll get there like right in the nick of time. If you could just look past all the surface rust, it's honestly a pretty solid looking vehicle. I really, really do like it. The GT rims especially, dude, just seals the deal. We'll be getting some better rims eventually. We've got the originals in the back there, all loaded up, ready to rock. So we're gonna be heading over to Quavo's store, as I mentioned, and hopefully he'll have that brand spanking new radiator in stock and ready to go. dude yeah we were pushing this thing we're still pushing this thing a little too hard our uh, radiator cap just blew off and it just shot a bunch of urine all over our windshield dude that's not ideal yeah we definitely need that upgraded radiator asap still no street racers either did we, like, scare them off or something, dude? I haven't seen them since... Oh, who is that? Who is that? There's a dead person. Hang on, let's let's cut the ignition. We gotta unfasten our seatbelt. So many steps just to get in and out of the Satsuma. Who is this? The orange hat. Oh, no. Uncle. Uncle, what happened to you? Okay, for the record, I did not push him or move him just then. That was all him. He is flailing around. It's it's honestly good to hear you coughing, though, because that means you're still alive. Um, we're going to try to carry you maybe into Quavos, because the pub is closed. I'm sure the pub is where you would rather be. Uncle, Uncle, we're almost there, dude. Don't be doing me dirty like this. Come on. We're just... I know. We're going to get you into the AC. You're going to feel much 
Much better then. Actually, we probably need to get this door open now. Many, many minutes later. Here we go. Here we go. This time... Okay, you know what, Uncle? I'm really trying to do you solid, and you're just not even trying anymore, so... I'm gonna go inside and do what we need to do. What up, Quavo? How you doing? 1200 bucks for that new racing radiator, huh? That's a pretty expensive boy, but I mean, we're, we're definitely gonna do that. And, oh, it's Thursday? Okay, we need as many juice concentrates as we can purchase. There we go, six more of those bad boys. And then do we need anything else? Maybe some, maybe some spray paint. Actually, let me get a can of just black. I really do like the red, but I think it'd be cool to paint a few things. Oh, I'm not leaving just yet. I do think it'd be cool to paint a few things black. Oh, and then we're also gonna need some sugar. Maybe not today, but eventually. Two, three, four, five, six, and a yeasty boy. Oh, and we'll clear out your sausages too while we're here. Might as well. That's like the best food in the entire game. All right, 288 for the groceries and 1200 bucks for the racing radiator. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uncle, hopefully you have a better day. Man, I'm, I'm sorry about your luck. You probably got ran over by the bus or something. That's real, real rough. All right, our radiator's gonna be right over here. I should have brought the tools, dude. We could have just installed it here and then peed in the thing again. We will be peeing in this radiator as well. Don't get it twisted. We're not buying coolant. Just because we got a fancy new radiator, that ain't gonna change anything. Alrighty, next stop is of course the junkyard once again. We've got to pick up our bottles. You know, we, we did do one kill you delivery in the previous episode, so, oh, seatbelt, yep. Always forget about that. But with six more bottles now, one would think we'll be getting double money. Hopefully that's the case. I really don't remember. I know it's a thousand bucks for six bottles, so I'm hoping maybe 2,000 for 12. We'll find out. You know, I wasn't really planning on doing this, but we've got the GT rims now. We've got the GT uh, valve cover. We've also got the GT steering wheel. The only thing that we're missing from the whole like GT set is the GT center console, which I believe we have to find like the wrecked Satsuma in order to obtain that one. But also the GT grill, which if I remember correctly is gonna be like hiding out in the trees out here somewhere. So let's just pull up on this little hill here. Ooh, okay, didn't mean to do that. Finger slipped off the clutch, that's my bad. Let's have a quick look around. I don't remember exactly where it is. Dude, dude, it's, it's just right here. Oh, and this is here too. Okay, cool, kind of forgot about that. So now we have the option. We can either stick with our clock gauge in our, in our cluster currently, or now we can also have a way to actually view our RPM, which could be very, very, very helpful when we actually start, you know, going to the drag strip, doing rallies and stuff like that. Right now, I don't think it's as important, but here we've got the Satsuma GT grill, dude. This is a fresh piece. I don't know if it's gonna fit in the car though. 
Oh, we're real dirty again, dude. The flies are back. The flies are back in full force. Let's see if we can't squeeze that in just right there. That's perfect. All right, mint, dude. We're heading home, officially. Hopefully that was just the exhaust falling off and nothing else, dude. That is terrifying. I really hate when that happens. Oh, actually, is it just the, is there something else over there? Uh, I think it's, yeah, I think it's the whole exhaust. Dang it. Well, I was kind of thinking we might have just lost the muffler, but that's, that's cool too, you know? This is definitely not going to fit inside the vehicle. Oh, will it stay though? Hopefully. Good lord, dude. What did I even do? I wasn't even walking on anything. I was close to the Satsuma, but... Okay. At least we don't die from that. We've definitely got our work cut out for us now, don't we? Unfortunately, since the exhaust did fall off, we are gonna have to pull straight over the inspection pit yet again. Hopefully that's fairly center anyways. Just had to take care of our stats really quick. It looks like we're gonna be running out of daylight here very, very quickly. So we're gonna get right to work, starting out right here with the hood lock. Gotta get that thing open. So we need to remove the radiator hoses first. Let's get in here, grab our screwdriver. Then it should just be this one here. And then the bottom one as well. We probably don't have to do anything with the two-piece deal over on the right there. But these two for sure need to be unscrewed. Okay, it's not an eight, but the phone is ringing. Let's go see who that is. See what they want. What do we got? Okay, I understand. I understand. Uncle must have told the entire town that we're taking over for him uh, in the in the septic truck, which we will eventually, just not right now. So if it's not an eight, maybe it's going to be a nine. It's also not a nine. It's going to be a seven on this. So we've got two on this side, two on the other. And then once again, oh, dude, I shouldn't have peed. Dang it. Yeah, we kind of need our urine for this new radiator, but that's okay. We can just go inside, get a drink from the tap really quick. There we go. This one should just pop off. And the other, same thing. Kind of unfortunate. We're going to lose, looks like, just one of them down into the inspection pit. But And also, the old radiator. That's nice. But this new one, you guys, this new one is going to be killer in the best way. I mean, look at it. It's got It's got two fans. It's got one more fan than the other one had. You'd think that's better. I don't know. Phone's ringing again. Okay, I know we're not expecting a call from anyone, but I have to answer it if we're home. Sewage, again. I will pay, of course. Okay, how many of these do we have on our map now? There's one. Uh, that's the hay bales. Two and three. So we've got two in town. Now we got to get this radiator mounted up, though. Or I guess bolted up. It's mounted. We just... Don't have it actually fully fastened here. So once again, two seven mils on this side and then two seven mils on the other side. Thankfully, the exhaust is also just all sevens. So we don't even have to swap sockets or anything. We can just go underneath, start getting the rest all fastened up as well. Oh, we should probably pee in this though. Yeah, we'll do that after the exhaust. It's not a huge deal. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet it's another person calling about their septic tank 
being full. Okay. Now we should be able to get our muffler installed, or not. I don't know why it does that sometimes, and other times it'll pop on and be just fine. Now I can't even find the spot for it to- Are you kidding me, dude? Why is this so challenging? This is like the easiest part to bolt up? I don't- I don't understand. I don't understand. What am I doing incorrectly? One eternity later. I actually give up, you guys. No matter where I put this thing, it doesn't want to bolt up again. It did the one time and then it fell. And ever since, it hasn't wanted to go back. So we'll just leave that over there. We'll save that for a rainy day. I think that's probably something where it just kind of bugged out. So we'll just have to leave and, and come back. It'll probably bolt up just fine. But now we've got to get the original wheels pulled on out of here. Because that's just adding... A bunch of unnecessary weight to the chassis. And here, you guys, we've got the GT Satsuma grill. I'm pretty excited to get this thing mounted up. I think that's going to really, really change, like, the whole look of the front end. Just before we do that, though, let's come back inside, grab a sausage. Oh, we've still got to, like, unload our uh, groceries and everything, too, don't we? And then we're going to continue to drink from the tap yet again until our urine bar is full. I can definitely tell you guys that we've been playing this game now for two weeks because I'm starting to lose it. I really am. My patience is almost non-existent and uh, I'm just getting frustrated over nothing. Hang on a second. I wonder if the racing radiator has a little bit higher capacity because that thing is still, it's, it's three quarters of the way full. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't think we're going to fill it all the way. We're going to have to run back inside, grab another drink from the tap. And then we can, uh, we can keep filling her on up. Top it up the rest of the way, and that should be nice and full. Unfortunately, we will just continue to pee into the inspection pit, but it's good for you. Builds character. So, now we have the radiator filled up. We've got uh, the GT rims on. We've got everything pulled out of the vehicle, I believe, except our groceries. Oh, and also the RPM gauge. So, let's get that put up on the shelf. Guessing bolt sizes is easily my least favorite thing to do here in my summer car. We went through the entire ratchet set just to find out that it's the one that we had in the first place. A six. Well, we had a seven for all the other stuff, but then I went down and it doesn't matter. Long story short, we got the grill off. It's great. We love that. Now we can get the new one put in. Actually, should we paint it first? Nah, let's just put it in. And then we can paint it after the fact. Just two bolts on this. Uh, I know previously I did think that these five mils down here on the fender were also part of the grill, but they're not. Our paint can is probably going to be contained within the shopping bag, right? But we've got a bunch of groceries and things in here, so let's actually just bring this inside. And then once again, we'll move the keel you bucket out. That way nothing accidentally, you know, gets flung into the thing. And we can just open everything up all at once. Love that. Perfect. We've got sugar everywhere. Sausages up the wazoo. There's our spray paint. Hopefully this is like metallic or I guess shiny black. I don't, I don't want matte black. And then if I remember correctly, so long as the little yellow text there at the bottom is the same as the part that you're looking at, it should only paint that part when you go to spray. We'll see what that looks like. Honestly, I don't remember if we did this in the modded Let's Play or not, but that looks really, really clean. I dig that. Okay, let's do the front bumper as well. The paint cloud is a little weird here. Yeah, see that, dude, that does a ton. That really helps clean up the front end. Let's do the same thing to the rear now as well with the rear bumper. Just get that thing polished up. Nice coat of black spray paint. Dude, that looks sick. That looks really good. I just want to try to install this muffler one mo again. One last time. Maybe I was in the wrong spot. Maybe I'm just going crazy. No, it actually just doesn't want to mount up whatsoever. And our stress is through the roof. That couldn't be more accurate. That's my IRL stress level right now, you guys. Stress level midnight. I know it's threat level midnight. It's a joke. It's a joke. But. I'm very much looking forward to this weekend. I definitely could use a break from my summer car. Just two days without this game. Honestly, sounds a bit more like a vacation. But uh, then we can come back and keep rolling on things. But for right now, 
I do think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.